Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add the text to your poster and how to finalize it so that it's visually attractive. To get started, you're going to need to log into Google. If you haven't already, click on the sign in option in the upper right corner and type in your student number, followed by the at symbol student.ast20.org, and then type in your password. When this window loads, click on the apps in the upper right corner and choose Drive. Go ahead and double click on Classroom, go into the Computer Design folder, and open up the Plan Endangered. You will need this open in order to complete the poster. Go ahead and go back to your drive and open up that Endangered Animal poster in Drawings. I will click on the Plan Endangered and I'm going to select information on one of the animals. So I'll do Control c the shortcut for copy. I will go back to the Endangered Animal poster. I will choose Insert Text Box and click down and I will do Control v to paste it and I will need to move that box. So you can see I don't have a whole lot of room here because I have so much information. I'm going to choose view 100% so you can see how large this is. I really am running out of room and I only posted text for one animal. So I'm going to select the text and I'm going to set it to 12. Actually, that's too small, maybe 14. I am going to choose Georgia as my font consistently throughout my poster design. If you wanted to add a background color, such as white, you would choose the Paint Bucket tool and choose white. I would need to stretch that out so it fits. I like to do black text on a white background because it's much easier to read. If you do that, you might also want to put a border around it. I will continue to add the information for the other animals, and hopefully it will fit. I've pasted all my text, but you need consistency in font scheme. So I'm going to show you something. You could actually hold the shift key and select all the text boxes. You could come up here, set it all to size 14. Now remember, it has to be a readable font. Georgia happens to be one of my favorites. And then you can come up here and change the boxes all to white. You would obviously need to drag that out. If you're going to put a border, you need to hold the shift key on all these and put a consistent border around all of them. So maybe I'll pick dark green. You could also change the weight if you so choose, or the style. Here's the weight. You can make it thick or thin. I prefer thin borders. And then if you need to, you might have to make the images a little smaller so that you have room. And you're going to have to play around with moving these boxes around. Make sure that the information is touching the animal or is as close as possible to the animal that it is. A lot of times students will put a different animal on a different box. So that's really important that you have the right information next to the right animal. Now if you wanted to put borders around your images, you can do so by selecting one, holding down the shift key to grab all the images, and then you would go put a border around it if you so choose. And you can change the weight, and you can change the style. Do make sure that your poster is balanced and attractive. It drives me crazy when students do things like this and they have this huge space. It is not a balanced poster when you do that. And I'm going to make the images roughly all the same size. Do make sure your information is fitting in the box. You might have to drag it. If you did have a little extra space, you could put a thinking bubble by choosing Insert, Shape, and then Call Out and then choosing the callout that you want. So I'll choose this one, I will drag it out, and there's a little orange box there. I might bring it over here and start typing save me, exclamation. You can change the color of that box by going to the paint bucket. If you want to change the font, you would obviously go up here. I might choose special elite. I do want to point out that I like it when people take the title, and I might use special elite and change the title to that one other font so it sticks out a little. You have to consistently do that with all of them. So for example, if you choose your title to be Medieval Sharp, you would need to go to all these titles and set it to Medieval Sharp. But I like the Special Elite, so I will choose that one. One other thing before you finalize your poster, I like to have the same distance around the poster. So this poster looks really good. It looks very balanced. And keep in mind, you can always come back, make changes to this poster if necessary. This concludes the session on how to create a poster in Google Drawings. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.